Welcome to the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of the women's volleyball team. And coach, uh, over the last few games, you know, pretty uh, recent success. Most recently with Eastern, uh, number 13 team in the country, coming for the MAC uh, Commonwealth Freedom Crossover Day on Saturday. Talk a little bit about that game. Well, that is the last crossover we're going to have. Um, we individually, you know, we really liked it. Yeah. But most of the coaches did not like it. They'd ha- like to have another three, free weekend. We like the fact that we got to have Eastern on our court at 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. And I am happy to say our girls really played really well. You know, we had some things we were working on mm-hmm. uh, in practice that uh, came to fruition in the game. Um, wasn't easy. Eastern's an excellent team. You know, they were ranked number 10, and they had lost their first match to Mary Walsh last week. And then when we got them on Saturday, they were number 13. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of respect for them. We may see them again in the NCAA if if we each get bids. Mm -hmm. Um, But we've faced them at least two or three times over the last number of years in the NCAA. A lot of good things happened in that match. Uh, and individually, talk a little bit about it. Is some players, you know, having some big days. One mm-hmm. being Mariah Savage. Mm-hmm. Talk a little bit about how um, she came out to be, to have such a great day. Uh, Mariah is, you know, has absolutely has the capability to put the ball down. A lot depends on if she's having a great day. But then Sarah, her mm-hmm. her setter in the six two, she sets Mariah because they, you know, they're always on the court together. Right. Um, Sarah's got to have a good day, and we've got to pass the ball well mm-hmm. so we can set our right side. And all three things happened, and Mariah got her confidence going. And then um, if they decide they are going to hit the ball at our setter. And she digs it up. Then Deanna Bradbury, Labaro takes a second ball, and mm-hmm. she puts some really nice second balls up there for Mariah. And then everybody in the gym knows where the ball is going. So there's a double block waiting for Mariah. And it was, a, it, you know, both those kids were way over six foot, both mm-hmm. six one, six one, the other one around six foot. So, but she was able to do some great things with the ball and continue to do that against the sales. Right. So, uh, fantastic weapon. Annika Swartz cannot mm-hmm. always, you know, they're. Most teams are camping on her. They're going to say, we're not going to let this kid beat us, make somebody else beat us, and Mariah had a great day. You did. You were able to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of weapons on the, that front row for you guys. Yes. And then moving into this week, you got, uh, is it Hood on Wednesday? Uh, no, we've got Widener. Widener yeah, we on had, Wednesday. We had Hood and Lycoming. You know, since we last talked, um, we got a, a big win against Arcadia, mm-hmm. which was a conference win. Then we played uh, Gallaudet on Thursday and, and got a 3 nothing win there and then with Eastern and then we had the sales after Eastern mm-hmm. uh, DeSales <laughs> the, ho- the men's ice hockey team was there and they were all dressed up like it was Halloween and I think they woke the sales up because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. the sales played very very well uh, but we were able to get a 3-1 uh, victory uh, so this week we move on to Widener which is mm-hmm. we have to go to Widener and that's always been a difficult match for us mm-hmm. uh, Widener took uh, Lebanon Valley 5 uh, so they're they're improved. They've got a very good setter. They've got a good outside hitter. Um, so they've got some really good players. So that's going to be a tough match for us on Wednesday. And then your weekends are pretty wide open for the remainder of the season, or at least in the month of October. Uh, how important is it going to be playing these conference games in the middle of the week to to stay with the gas pedal down? Well, what we we've got three conference matches left. Um, Widener, um, actually, have four. No, three. Yeah, Lebanon mm-hmm. Valley and Alvernia. You know, right. We've got to win those three matches and finish this conference mat- season undefeated so we will get at least – we'll host the semifinals. Mm-hmm. That would assure us, I hope, in the host the semifinals, and we'll play the 4-5 or five play-in right. if we can win those three matches. Uh, and we've got some good, good ones coming up. Uh, Stockton, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend, who is, was like number 26 in the country mm-hmm. uh, not long ago. Um, Played them in the NCAA's two years right. ago. Uh, they went to the Sweet 16 last year, mm-hmm. so they're very good. And Hopkins, it looks like they're going to win the Centennial Conference. At least they're putting themselves in position to do that. Uh, so we've got some good, tough matches coming up. Great, and good luck in all those uh, tough matches, Coach. Thanks again. Thank you for your time as well. He's Dave Trumbo. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Coach's Corner.